and help raise awareness and join the fight against prostate cancer. Joining me now is Joe and Autumn Thompson. Joe, you're the owner of Crisp Catering, of course, and Autumn, you are participating in the Run Walk. Thank you both for being with us this Thank morning. Thank you for having us. And this is father daughter, by the way, in case you're wondering. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the Run Walk happening tomorrow. Can people still sign up? Absolutely. Okay. You have all the way up until you can show up tomorrow at eight o'clock at registration nice. time and sign up. We're in Land Park mm -hmm. um, in the Green Village area. Yeah. And there's a kids run, there's adult runs, yeah. all kinds of things. So it's just a great family event. I love it. Autumn, why is it important for you to participate? Um, we lost my uncle last August to prostate cancer. Um, and so we've just kind of got involved with zero and we're just trying to get the word out there of how important it is to get tested early because if you get tested early, you have a pretty good survival rate. Um, and so we just really want to bring awareness to that and yeah. Yeah. And I can imagine that's really impacted your family too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So Joe, tell me a little bit more about what people can expect. So they get there, mm -hmm. registration starts at eight and when, when does everything start? Everything starts pretty close to 830, 845. Okay. We'll have the kids run first, <laughs> then we'll go in with the adults. What's nice about this is there's all different levels of people involved in prostate cancer. There's survivors, there's families yeah. that have lost others. There's newly diagnosed people. Um, there's doctors, there's all this there. So it's really a great place to bring the man you love or the men you love in your life to come together to really learn and educate themselves about this disease. If caught early, you have a 100% chance of survival within five years, pretty close to 100%. If caught late, you have about a 32% chance. Yeah. So really it's education is the key. Can be figured out with a simple blood test. Yeah. How long have you guys been participating in the run walk? Last year was our first year. We okay. just heard about it after all of my uncle's mm -hmm. stuff. Um, and we just went out not really knowing what to expect and it was just so nice to be there and connect with people mm -hmm. that are there for the same reason you are and unfortunately we lost my uncle but it was really cool to see survivors yeah. and hear their stories. Okay, tell me how you're preparing. What are you doing now to get ready for tomorrow? <laughs> well, I just started walking this week to get ready. <laughs> um, but no, we have a big team. I mean, we've been promoting it. We have shirts and yeah. stuff and I think there's like 30 36 of us. 36 of us. That's 36 awesome. of us. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so we have some information that we want to show our viewers. Okay, so it's happening tomorrow, 8 a.m. As you heard, is registration. Everything kind of kicks off at 9. Uh, there will be a recognition for survivors and caregivers. There is a kid super dash, and the uh, website is there on your screen. So be sure to check it out. It's going to be decent weather. Head out there and support a good cause.